Some people say, though, that, like, a man in a relationship will sometimes end up with somebody like their mother. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard that. Yeah. I don't think it's true, like, 100% of the time, because, like, I'm not anything like my boyfriend's mom. But I'm a lot like his dad. <laughs> because I'm going to leave him. So. <laughs> no, he's cool. <laughs> he rides a motorcycle, which is awesome, because I'm afraid of commitment, so... <laughs> He likes me a lot. I'm definitely his type. And I know his type because the girl that he was seeing before me was a model. <laughs> and the girl before that was a ballerina. So, you know. <laughs> Obviously, he's attracted to women who will need financial support when their dreams don't work out. <laughs> too hard at that one. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> he actually told me recently, though, that like I'm his first serious girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like that just like puts a lot of pressure on me to like set the bar for his next serious girlfriend. Right? <laughs> but, you know, I believe in like women helping other women, so I'm going to set the bar very low. <laughs> Just like as low as I can go. <laughs> I'm talking like bad blowjobs low. <laughs> like this is what I want. Like I want, if his next girlfriend is like, I don't give blowjobs, I want him to be like, thank God. <laughs> I'm religious. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I grew up very religious. My parents are Christians. Um, well, my mom is a Christian, and my dad is whipped. But <laughs> that counts. <laughs> Jesus was whipped too, so he gets it. You know, like... <laughs> Actually, I don't really like that term whipped. I feel like people use the term whipped to mean like good husband <laughs> or like good boyfriend, right? Like my boyfriend, he got called whipped because he like stayed in with me one night instead of going out with his friends, which is crazy because I even like gave him the choice. I was like, you can stay in with me or you can go out and never come back. <laughs> he just made the right choice. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I grew up religious. There were some things like I didn't really understand about it. Um, like I remember every night before dinner, my dad, he would like take a moment to thank God for the meal that my mom just made. <laughs> <laughs> like what the heck, dad? God didn't microwave this broccoli. <laughs> mom <laughs> but I do remember back in the day I dated a Christian boy and he broke up with me because he said that God told him to <laughs> yeah which I feel like is pretty uncool <laughs> of God <laughs> just to take time out of his busy schedule <laughs> Just to like tell this kid to break up with me. <laughs> Especially because that was the same week as Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's like, what was God doing up there? <laughs> he was just like, oh no, the levees are about to break. Oh wait, but what's happening over here? <laughs> At this youth group. <laughs> oh no, he's dating that bitch Emily. <laughs> That's not my plan. <laughs> my plan is you gotta break up with Emily over the phone and then the very next day get back together with your ex-girlfriend and then you gotta move to Temecula and work at Enterprise Rent-A-Car. <laughs> That's my plan. Anyways, back to the levy. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so yeah, dating's tough. <laughs> I remember I dated this guy who I thought was really funny. Like, he would always say the funniest things. But it turned out that I had just never seen Anchorman. <laughs> Pretty funny movie. <laughs> I like movies a lot. I do want to remake Mrs. Doubtfire, but this time I would have a woman dress up like a man to get a job that she wouldn't otherwise be able to get. <laughs> and I'll call it Mr. President. tough sometimes. Yeah. I was just, uh, yeah, she gets it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just in San Francisco and um, I got to go to a Giants game and I was excited about it, but like right when it started, like in the first inning, I got my period. <laughs> and I wasn't prepared, like I didn't have anything with me and nobody in the bathroom had anything and I was like with a bunch of dudes they didn't have anything. So I like, I really like, I didn't know what to do. Like, what would you do, sir, in that situation? <laughs> <laughs> what? You would have left the game? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Men. <No. laughs> you would have left. I didn't leave. This is what I did. I used my sock. <laughs> Thank you, it worked. I was pretty proud of my sock that day. I guess what I'm trying to say is, like I went into the game a Giants fan, but I left a Red Sox fan. about that one. <laughs> I'll leave you with this. Um, I have anxiety. Anybody else? Nice. Uh, yeah, I was like looking up online like how to deal with it, right? And I read this article and they were like, oh, anxiety is just misplaced excitement. <laughs> Try this. Next time you're feeling anxious, just say, I'm not anxious, I'm excited. <laughs> so I was feeling a little anxious the other day, so I was like, all right, I'll try this new hack. <laughs> I'm not anxious, I'm excited that this mole on my neck might be cancer. <laughs> and it worked, I'm pretty stoked to die. Thank you so much, have a good night.